Wagner, and welcome to Lesbian Knows Best. Today, we're talking to my guest, Nancy Ferraro from Greensboro, North Carolina, and our topic is an older woman who want a man who can get it up and keep it up. Nancy, tell me a little bit about, like, what about this? You're an older woman, mm -hmm. you're hot and horny, you can't find any guys that can keep it. Tell me about that. That's exactly right. Generally, the men I go out with in my age group um, will start complaining over the first cocktail about their erectile dysfunction, their um, replacement body parts, their stents, their high blood pressure, their low blood pressure, you know, their ex-wives, their children, and I'm not interested in that. You know, maybe well, ED but further <laughs> on down the road, you know, when, you know, I'm not going to go and hop right in the back seat of their car. So ED does not have to enter into it. What's ED? Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> it doesn't have to enter into it before I finish my first martini. Okay, is that what they, do men actually tell you? Hi. I can our... give you a name and a place. Yes, I can. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is the God's honest truth. You, yep. you mean, like, you meet, how do you meet these guys? They find me online. I've been on, a, you know. Well, what's your profile say? I want some now? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you get it up and keep it up? No. I am on some quite cool, normal um, dating sites. I am on a couple of adult sites, and I've dated men from all those sites. And typically, I get the younger men want somebody that will teach them. The older men have that problem and want, you know, the they're ready for the pipe and the slippers and let's not go out dancing because my hip hurts. The or, guys? The guys? Yeah. Okay. Or, no, I can't sit at the, at the Angel Stadium because my back hurts or... You well, know, what's wrong with teaching a young guy? I mean, oh, that I have no problem with. Okay, because you told me you were hot and horny. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Do women get hotter and hornier as they get older? Well, experts say no. I tend to disagree. Because I have heard, I have heard <laughs> on the down low from mm -hmm. most older women that they get hotter and hornier as they get older. I think because, you know, menopause sets in and you have the sexual freedom, you don't have to worry about being pregnant. Certainly you take care of the disease problem. Um, there's a there's a liberty that comes with that, and you're willing to experiment more. And I'm speaking from you know being in my own shoes. So, but for your problem is you meet these guys, you go out on the first date, mm -hmm. and the, what is it usually like with the older guy? They just tell you, they come right out and tell you, I have erectile dysfunction. Yes, on the first date. On the first. And do you date. tell them like that's a little entirely too much information? I do. <laughs> I mean, we don't need to know about that. I mean, if they have that kind of a problem, they might as well put a popsicle stick and wrap it yeah. up or something. No, usually <laughs> it's another drink. Please just keep them coming because I, you know from that point the date is not going to go well. So for your problem is is that you want to meet a guy who can keep up with you. Yeah. Sexually, physically, mentally, mm -hmm. and then you get these younger guys. I mean, are you attracted to younger guys or to older guys? Yeah, I am. Which one? <laughs> younger guys. Okay, and so what's the problem with that? I have no problem with that. It's that the younger guys, um, either they will not pick me out because of my age, or if they do, they want a teacher, or they, you know, they think I'm dried up, I'm divorced, and they're going to change that. And dried up is not a problem. Divorced is, you know, it's not a problem for me. I've been divorced a lot of years. Yeah. So, um so, but basically, so you want to meet these younger guys, but you don't really want any relationship with them. You just want to get it on. <laughs> well, that works too. But no, I would like. I a, love. A, I love a, it. A long-term <laughs> relationship. I um, always hear the girls tell me I can't find somebody for me. Well, it's me, <laughs> guys. You got a lady here, right here. <laughs> You're hearing it right now. That sometimes they just want to have a little bit of fun. Absolutely. I mean, don't, I mean, just tell a guy. I mean, put it. On, I don't know how you're going to put it on the website, but maybe <laughs> you should write on your dating profile. Hey, I just want to have a little fun and not even looking for a long-term relationship. I have that in there. You do, and, but do. you're still attracting these old guys that can't get it up. Absolutely. <laughs> and they don't even take Viagra. <laughs> Um, well, one did and still had a problem, and it's, oh, it's like... Then he kept it hard for like 30 hours, and he didn't know no, what to do with it. No, it never... Oh, God, with all the accoutrement that he had to work with, it never got there. It, I'm sorry to say. Well, what I wanted to say is, <laughs> and especially to Nancy and to you guys out there and you ladies out there that want to have a little bit of fun, there's women like Nancy out there who just want to meet the guy who can get it up, they can keep it up, and guys who are actually maybe on Viagra, you need to take it a little bit before the date is you know, beginning or starting. I don't know if you want to have sex on a first date or not, 
But what I'm suggesting is to be honest with the person, upfront and honest with them, maybe on your profile or maybe when you actually meet them, and you can just be honest and say, look, I'm not looking for a long-term relationship. I'm just looking for a little bit of fun. And you can come out and tell them, I'm horny. I want to get it on. I want to have a little bit of fun. And what can you do for me? And I think that you're going to get a lot better response and you're going to get weed out these old deadbeat guys that have the little surely old peanut or whatever it is, and then you're going to attract a lot more guys who are going to give you what you want, and then you could tell them what, what you have to offer them, but sometimes there are younger guys that just want to say they've been with the older woman, and hell, Nancy, why not teach them a little bit? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm open to that. <laughs> I, I want to thank our guest, Nancy, for coming on the show, and I want anybody who has any advice for Nancy, or if you maybe want to have a date with Nancy, <laughs> or maybe if you have a nice rock hard penis and can keep it up and you want to have a little fling with Nancy, go ahead and write it to our website. It's www.lesbiannowsbest.com. Thank you very much. I'm Vicki Wagner. Thanks for coming on the show, Nancy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.